We've used the UB Duo in many situations um, in our hospital and in our clinics. Also, we also have a specialty clinic where we've used it in our sleep study lab, which has been very helpful um, for the people that do that sleep study uh, because they do not have any alternative communication skills and this has really let them be able to communicate with those patients at midnight when there's not really anybody else around or an interpreter available. Um, I've used it in the emergency room setting. It has been extremely helpful. Um, not always with the patient because in an emergency setting they're not always able to tell you but usually there's a family member and we've had a lot of those that have had communication issues being deaf um, and they've been able to, to let us know what, what were the immediate needs of that patient, uh, what medications they were on so that we knew whether or not there were inter interactions or, or problems caused by their medications while they were there. Um, I also have had the privilege of being the director of the operating room and outpatient services here at, at previous times um, and have used it in that setting also and have found it very, very nice um, to be able to use for a patient for a pre-op setting to be able to have them come in and give us all their history, their information on medications, um, medical history, family histories things like that because those are extremely important especially in an operating room setting when you're going undergoing anesthesia. So that let us have a very clear uh, communication with that patient so that we were able to serve them better and, and, and safer. Um, I've also used it in, like I said, the emergency room, the outpatient department, sleep study uses it. I'm the director of Fulton Medical Clinics now and we use it in our clinic every time we have a patient that has hearing difficulties. Um, and it has been very, very helpful. I can tell you from an administrative point of view that the reason I like it is that it has ex saved us a huge amount of money on interpreter costs. Um, interpreter costs were just getting to the point that they were really hurting our, our budget um, and found that this is a, a very, I don't want to say inexpensive, but it is a very cost effective device to use in as an alternative to interpreters. Now there, you know, maybe a patient or two that we have still had to use an interpreter for because they were not able to say type. Maybe they had another medical condition that made it difficult for them to use that device. But that was, that's very rare. Ninety-nine percent of the patients that came in still have function of their hands because they sign. Therefore, they can use the machine. They know how to spell because they sign, so they can use the machine. And it, it has really been a wonderful way of communicating, um, but from a business point of view, it's also saved us a ton of money on services that we would have to be paying for. Um, the patients have all seemed to adapt to it very quickly. They've all seemed to like it very well. Um, I really can't say enough. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful device. Wish that we had found it 20 years ago instead of four years ago. Um, I can't say that we've had any issues with the device. They've been good at updating it um, whenever there's an update available. There are people available for us to ask questions because in my setting, staff come and go, so you kind of have to train the new ones when they come on. And there's always been someone available to help with that. Um, we've been very appreciative for the support that we've found that, that comes along with, with the machine and the service. I would highly recommend it to anyone in a healthcare setting, actually in any setting. I mean, it, it's an excellent device. It, it definitely helps with that communication barrier. Um, and it's very cost effective. 